Hey, my name is Jesus Castillo, and in this video, I want to show you what is Nokogiri, what can you do with it, and a little demo of using Nokogiri in action. Okay, so what is Nokogiri? Nokogiri is a gem that has two main, two main functions. And these functions are parse XML and parse HTML. And in case you are not familiar with this word, what parsing means is the art of taking in some structured data and extract, extract some meaning from it. So let me explain that for you. A structured data I'm talking about HTML, XML, JSON, okay, so just some piece of data, it could be text, it could be binary, as long as it has some kind of structure, and you want to extract meaning from it, like the title from a website, okay? So, when and why would you want to use Nokogiri? Well, the, ma the most common case, the most common situation for using Nokogiri is when an API is not available and you want some public data from that site. Okay? So, for example, let's say, let's say there is a store and you want to extract the pricing information from the things that they are selling. Okay? But they don't have an API for that. So, what you have to do is parse the HTML and pull out that data, okay? And that's what you can do with Nokogiri, and it's really easy. If you have never done this before, it's really easy. So, I will show you, keep watching. <laughs> so, I have two items on the bottom of the slide. One is, in case you don't know what an API is, it's just a way to 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 talk or with another application, okay, and request information or do something like send information also. And also, I have a warning for you that not every site likes this. Not every site likes that you take data from their site like prices. So they might have a system to block you if you try to do this. So check their terms of service or ask their support if you want to do this. Okay? So you don't get you don't get into trouble. So next, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of Nokogiri for you, and there are three very simple steps. First, you want to figure out the site and the specific page that you want to extract data from. So you pick up a site and, and then pick the page. Just do one, start with one page and then you can do more after you want. But start with focusing on one page. Okay? And then you want to open your browser's developer tools. I believe that is F12 in most browsers, at least in Chrome. And with that, there is like a little, what do you call this? Like a little magnifying, magnifying glass icon you can click. And this will help you Find out the CSS selector to target the thing that you want to extract. 
So let's say that you want price. Well, you will open your developer tools and figure out, find out what's the CSS selector for the price. And this will allow you to extract the price. Okay? Then the free, uh, last step is very easy. Once you have step one and step two, you just write the code with this information. Okay? And all of the, all of these steps is already assuming you already have installed Nokogiri. Okay? Okay, here is the demo. So what I want to do is go to my blog and I want the title for every blog post on the front page. Okay? So this is the, the page I want to work on. And now I'm going to right click on one of the post titles and choose inspect element and this we open the developer tools as you can see and the good thing about this is that we can get the we can get the CSS selector that we need. I think we can use this. So I'm copying. I know that we have this. Let's go to the code. Require no cogiri and also we need to require not relative, just regular. We need to require rest client and I will show you in a second what this is for so we want to get the HTML for this page so let's do that HTML equal rest client dot get and the URL blackbytes.info okay so this we give as the HTML. So if I run this, we shall see the output on the right. And there you go, that's the HTML. And now we want to parse that using Nokogiri. So I'm going to create this Nokogiri. Giri, then HTML, so this is a module inside Nokogiri, and the dot parse, the parse method. And what we are going to parse? Well, the HTML. Okay? And also, I want to print this to see the output. So you can see the output on the right. Yes, there's a lot of objects that are created by Nokogiri. Okay? So don't don't freak out if you see all this output from Nokogiri. Because this is just an object and a document a Nokogiri document object and it has children. Okay? And this is a there is an object for every every element on your page and your HTML. Okay, now to work with this, we need the CSS selector. So for example, doc.css and the selector that we found using the developer tools was this one. Okay, so let's try that. See what happens. And we come out empty. Oh, yes. Because this is a class selector. Okay, now it works. 
So now we have an array of nokogiri elements that are returned that match this CSS selector. Okay? So this is your regular CSS selectors. Nothing special about that. And now we can save this in post or articles, whatever. And next step, I want to iterate just with each. Each do article and then the article end. So now it looks like we haven't made a lot of progress, but that's because we're not doing anything yet with this article. So what we want, what do we want from the article? We want the title, right? So to get the title, where is the title defined? Well, it's inside this anchor, this a tag. You can see it right there. That's the title. So we need to get to here. How we do that? Well, I believe this should do it. Let's say A. Let's print. Run. And yes, you can see on the right, we have got the all the anchor, the, uh, anchor elements. It's it's a still an it's a still an object we can work with, okay? So you are slowly making progress towards pulling out the data you want, okay? One step at a time. So we can see the post titles in there. So how do we get these titles? With the text method. Now if I print this, ah, ta -da! <laughs> we get the list. If you can look on the right, this is the output. We get a list of the post titles. And if you look, Ruby ranges, how do they work? Yeah, that's correct, it's done here. So you can see we get the full list. So you can do the same with any element of the page, okay? You just make sure you have the CSS selector of the container, in this case, or the or the class that is shared. So all of these, all of these boxes have, whoops, have this. CSS select CSS class. That's why you can get all of them. Okay? With the CSS method. And then we can iterate using each and drill drill down a bit more, go a bit deeper in this article with the CSS method again. We pull out the anchor tags, and then we tell Nokogiri to print the text for this anchor tag, okay? So you just follow this process for anything you want from a page. So I hope that helps you, and if you found this useful, please uh, share it and Subscribe to my newsletter if you haven't yet, okay? Thanks a lot for watching.